Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all know that we are continuing with the topic where we are finding out the extremals for the given functional and uh, we are taking a variety of problems that we can encounter with while problem solving. Okay, so in this learning video we are going to take a problem. So let us see what this problem says. So this problem says find the extremals of the functional integral from 1 to 2 under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square upon x dx and also we are given condition like y of 1 is equal to 0. So what we can read it as when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0. Likewise this when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, okay? So, we have this problem. So, what we have to find out? Extremal, okay? So, let us see what problem is uh, in this problem. What is our f? So, what is my f? f is this. Under root of 1 plus, dy by dx can be written as y dash square write it precisely it should not look like y power 12 this is y dash square divided by x so this is f given to us okay with the help of this what we can found out for the extremal we want uh, fy and fy dash right euler's equation required this so what you can do here is you can just find out the derivative so del f by del y is equal to 0. Why? Because there is no term of, there is no term of y. Okay. Next, del f by del y dash. Yeah. So, here in this uh, function f, we have y dash. So, its derivative can be found out. I am taking 1 by x as constant, treating as as constant. Now, under root, derivative of under root is 1 upon 2 root 1 plus y dash square into derivative of 1 plus y dash square with respect to y dash is 0 plus 2y dash. So this 2 get cancelled with this. So we have del f by del y dash is y dash upon x into under root 1 plus y dash square. Okay. Now what is my Euler's equation? Uh, okay. You can write extremals are given by extremals are given by Euler's equation Euler's equation that is what is my Euler's equation del f by del y minus ddx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. So, this is the first form of the Euler's equation. So, if you want, you can say this is to be equation 1, right? So, what this uh, equation will imply? Uh, del f by del y, we have it to be 0. So, this is 0 simply minus ddx of what is del f by del y dash? We have this. So, this is y dash upon x into under root 1 plus y dash square is equal to 0. Okay. Now, removing this 0 and multiplying by minus sign, what will be getting? When I multiply this by minus sign, I will be getting ddx of y dash upon x under root 1 plus y dash square is equal to 0. Okay. Now, derivative of something is 0 means that something must be constant, right? Or in other way, what you can do? Remove the derivative with respect to x by applying the integration. So, you can write on integrating with respect to x. So, conceptual student can solve, in, uh, solve the same problem in many ways. So, on integrating we get what we get, ddx is removed, so we get y dash upon x into 1 plus y dash square 
let me write it precisely y dash square is equal to constant is equal to constant say a so i am taking that constant to be a okay now now what i can do is uh, you can just take it uh, here so you can write that is y dash is equal to a into x into under root of 1 plus y dash square okay now what you can do here is you can you can just square it okay so on squaring i can write here i hope it is visible on squaring we get so what i will be getting on squaring y dash square is equal to what is it a square a square square root get cancelled with square this okay now solve this we'll be getting y dash square is equal to a square x square plus a square x square y dash square take term of y on the one side and the term of x on the other so this is nothing but uh, when you take it to the left so and taking y dash square common so this is 1 minus a square a square into y dash square is equal to a square x square so y dash square is equal to a square x square upon 1 minus a square x square right now taking square root on taking positive square root we get y dash is equal to x upon under root of 1 minus a square x square so this is we have to solve okay so i will solve this this let me rub this one i am not rubbing that uh, conditions because i will need it to get the unknowns okay now this is y dash equal to this so before i solve this let me remind you of uh, one result which says if you have integration of f of x no it is not like it's not working okay. so let me remind of you one result which is integration of f dash of x upon root f of x dx is equal to 2 root f of x okay of course plus c would also be there right so we are gonna make use of this result we have under root in the denominator okay 1 minus a square x square what is the derivative of this derivative of this is 2 a square x right minus 2 a square x so that is what we are going to do here is so we have y dash is equal to uh, if you want i can write y dash as dy by dx and this is equal to ax upon under root of 1 minus 1 minus a square by x square. Now, what is the derivative of 1 minus a square by x square? That is 2a square x. What we have? ax. So, I need 2a square x. So, I just divide and multiply by 2a of course with minus sign okay so this is minus 2a square x so this is nothing but the adjustment now i will write this as dy is equal to minus 1 upon 2a okay into minus 2a x upon under root 1 minus a square x square dx so on integrating on integrating we get now we are applying the formula that formula we have just uh, quoted here this formula we are going to make use of 
and the formula that I have written is for your understanding. Don't write such uh, things in the examination because uh, the evaluator will know what you have applied. So integration of dy is y minus 1 by 2a as it is. What is integration of this? f dash of x upon under root f of x that is 2 root f of x. So this is a 2 root plus some constant of integration. So say constant to be a. Okay. Or already a is there. Yeah. So let this let uh, let me take it as b. Okay. So now we have this. This two get cancelled with this. So you can write this one as y. Take minus b here to it become minus b. So this is minus of under root one minus a square a square. Square it. Now the problem is become easy. On squaring we get what is it? y minus b whole square is equal to minus become plus and this become 1 minus sorry oh yeah here it is a okay so it would be okay so this is y minus b whole square a square a square upon a square okay so i will write it as y minus b whole square is equal to 1 by a square minus x square a square get cancelled that is minus x square to the left plus x square y minus b whole square is equal to 1 by a square and what is this do you remember what is this equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square that is the equation of circle correct so this is the equation of circle. Say this is to be equation A. Now my objective is to see. Uh, now my objective is to find out the values of this constant A and B. If the initial values are not given to you, the problem is completed over here because the initial values are given to you. So you have to find out the constant A and B. So this is my equation A and we are given and we are given the condition. So you can write given that given that y of 1 is equal to 0 and y of 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so these are the condition and I already told you what are these condition and how to make use of it. So whatever value is there in the argument that is the value of x and the other value is for y okay so when you apply this you can write put x is equal to 1 and y equal to 0 in equation a we get uh, so what we get x is equal to 1 so this is 1 plus y is 0 0 minus b b square is equal to 1 by a square. So say this is to be equation 1. Now apply the second one. So second is put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 in equation a. In equation a we get. So what is it? Put x is equal to 2. So this is 2 square is 4. Put y is equal to 1. Yeah. So this is 1 minus b whole square this is equal to 1 by a square simple say this is to be equation number 2 okay now as you can see here equation 1 and 2 right hand side are same so left hand side must also be same isn't it so 1 and 2 imply 1 and 2 imply what is it 4 plus 1 minus b whole square is equal to 1 plus b square. Now you can just uh, solve this. So we'll be getting 4 plus uh, 1 minus 2 times b plus b square is equal to 1 plus b square. So this get cancelled with this and we remain with 
फोर इज इक्वल टू टू बी सो बी इज इक्वल टू टू सो वी गॉट टू नाउ एज वी गॉट बी टू यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ एनी ऑफ द इक्वेशन टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सो वन इम्प्लाय वन प्लस टू स्क्वायर is equal to 1 by a square so what is it what is it 2 square 4 plus 1 5 so 1 by a square is 5 why i am uh, taking the value of 1 by a square what why not a because i want 1 by a square value in equation a that's why now substitute this in equation number which equation a then equation a becomes then equation a becomes what is it uh, here x square plus y minus b b is 2 y minus 2 whole square and 1 by a square is 5 okay you can write this is the required extremal For the given functional. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you, and uh, you can solve problem of the type like this. So thank you for watching this learning video. Enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.